Hey, what's going on guys? Ben Brewster here with Threat Athletics. This is a very basic uh, regression to work on hip shoulder dissociation or pelvic torso dissociation. Uh, it's not the same thing as hip shoulder separation. Separation is really the degree to which you can segment the hips from the shoulders, but the ability to segment the hips from the shoulders is that segmentation. It's the ability to get the hips to go independently of the torso versus everything coming together. Be able to segment is being able to move that pelvis underneath the torso while keeping the torso back to be able to get a maximum uh, rotation and energy transfer up the kinetic chain and get that tornado-like, uh, whip-like effect into the arm that we always go for. Um, so for guys who maybe triple extend off the back leg, uh, early extension, they end up rushing forward or everything rotates together, uh, that's what this drill is for, is just feeling them work independently of each other. So all you're gonna need is a pole, bar, something to hold on to, and we're gonna get in roughly a rocker drill, so a little bit shorter than stride length stance. You can cheat open that front foot a hair, but my target would be the camera in this case. So I wanna close off my shoulders, use the pole or whatever you've got to hold that upper half closed. Try to find your hinge position. So if you've already watched our video on the hinge, you wanna be able to find what for you is a little bit of a glute load stable position. So try to find that position as you get into here versus it just being hanging out here, hanging out here. Try to, as close as you can, replicate the position that you would be after you come through your leg lift, you ride your center of mass forward, and just before you get into landing, that's the position we're trying to replicate here just before rotation occurs. So just before the pelvis begins to go and then you, then you land, that's the position we're trying to recreate. So for me, it'd be right about here. So I'm gonna get in this position, coil it a little bit into the back glute, upper half closed, and from here, I'm driving my hip rotation underneath my torso. So this stays still closed. Now I'm driving my pelvis underneath my body, and I'm trying to think about rotating down into landing versus just spinning open like this, spinning open like that. I'm trying to think about rotating that bowl, which is my pelvis, down into landing. You'll notice that the back knee follows what the pelvis is doing. So it's not a knee-driven movement. The knee is already loaded over. It's a pelvic-driven movement. The pelvis drives that back knee down and through. Okay, so we're thinking about that action, holding it closed. It just looks like this. Again, this should be a pretty simple drill for most of you. If you're getting too closed off on the front leg, cheat that foot open to a straight on or about 45 degrees. But you'll notice when you do this, that front leg extends on its own because we're almost also working on the front leg at the same time. We're working on that paw back mechanism where those pelvis rotates through and it pulls that front knee into extension. Okay, you can play around with where you're holding on the bar or pole that you've got. If you're holding too far out here, then you're basically just patterning flying open with your torso. So find a position that keeps you closed as you let the back hip go. After you've gone through some of these drills, couple sets of 10 reps, you just you can start to feel them working independently. You can go ahead, do some dry reps, do any number of the other fields drills uh, in our library, and just start to try to feel that, that movement connect. Try to feel the hinge, the forward move, and that rotation that we just worked on connect and flow into, into the full kinetic chain. Um, again, we like this pre-throwing as one of the fields drills after the dynamic warmup before the actual throwing program. And the goal here is to take that movement, that feel, that dissociation into your actual throwing drills for the day, and then ultimately into your long toss, your catch play, and your bullpen work.